All right, guys, welcome back to for uh, Broke Bets, the UFC 300, our bets. Uh, Lane here with you. I got my guy, Carson, with me as always. Yes, sir. The UFC 300, baby, let's go. Yes, we got, uh, we're just going with five bets on this card, and uh, let's get straight into it. Not, a, not, like, not as crazy betting as you would probably anticipate, but here we go. Starting it off, Bobby Green. Um, people, fans betters all these people in the sport they have such short memories um bobby green just knocked out grant dawson prior to jalen turner who jalen turns a nightmare matchup for anybody at lightweight especially because he has a six inch height six inch reach advantage on almost everyone in the division so uh no surprise there um but other than that you know jim miller got pieced up by alexander hernandez who looked like shit versus uh damon jackson not too long ago just if you, if you really think about it, I feel like Green still has the better movement, the better boxing um, over Jim Miller. I mean, Jim Miller has some good kicks, obviously the, the better submission ability, but I, even Bobby Green, I think, could take this fight into top control and this out-wrestle him if needed. So I think Green is uh, just a great bet here and a very underrated line as well. So what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Bobby Green will be better everywhere. Um, except for the the straight uh, submission game, but um, I mean, just the one question on him is his is his chin after getting uh, KO'd by Turner like four or five times. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's the only question about him. He should be better everywhere, and I think uh, if he didn't just get KO'd, he'd be a little bit uh, bigger favorite here. Yeah, obviously makes anybody a little nervous. I would I would lie. I would be lying if I was saying I wasn't a little bit nervous by that. But I think if you just look at most of the attributes that go into the fight. Um, if, if Bobby Green didn't get knocked out by Jalen Turner, that's an easy if statement to say. But if, if that fight never happened and they just scheduled this one, he would be a massive favorite. So, Anyway, next bet. Alexander Rakic. Um, grappling. Grappling is what I, I think this fight comes down to. Um, Jiri, as dangerous as he is with his hands and... Going to be definitely more dangerous on the feet than Rakic. I feel like Rakic just, uh, he can wrestle whenever he wants in this fight. I mean, he's a big dude for this division. Glover got down Jiri at will. Um, Jiri's been, you know, taken down some other weird instances, has some weird ground scrambles as well. And uh, for a three-round fight, Rakic can keep that cardio up, I think. Also use uh, low lead kicks, which he uses pretty well, and... I just see him uh, either winning a decision or a late KO. So, thoughts? Yeah. Um, in Prohaska's last fight, Alex Pereira chewed up that lead leg uh, from the get-go. I expect uh, Rakic to, to do the same here and uh, take down Prohaska at will whenever he wants. Uh, he held down uh, Blahovich for the entire second round, so he could, you know, steal an entire round, just uh, top control there, so... Um, wear out Prohaska and chew up that leg and take him down when he wants. So, right. Yeah, I like that bet quite a bit. Again, the only scare I see is that Rakic really hasn't been pressured and put on the back foot too much, but that's where grappling can come into play. Um, you get, you know, one takedown. I could just flip around right there. So, uh, next bet prop bets taken Sadiq Yusuf and Diego Lopez under one and a half rounds. I just see a war. Um, Diego Lopez brings an energy to fights that um, not many other fighters do. Like Charles Oliveira would be a good example. Just the energy he brings or Benoit Saint-Denis. He's going to come in there. He's got great ground skills to finish you by submission. He's fucking throwing up flying triangles. I mean, uh, and then he swings for the fences on the feet at all times. And Sadiq Yusuf, uh, you know, first round against Barbosa kind of did the same. Um maybe doesn't have as much stopping power, but if he can connect a few times, he could easily finish the fight as well. So um, one and a half rounds, the crowd will be behind, be behind this fight, mm -hmm. and I think they'll just be fueled to go to war. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, Diego Lopez has a lot of hype behind him, uh, rightfully so with his uh, three UFC performances. They've all been super entertaining, and I expect the same here. He's going to be going out balls to the wall, and he's going to uh, um, win by finish early or get, get finished. Uh, early so yeah under one and a half at plus money uh, i like it i feel like it's a great line considering how lopez's fights have gone so, so far like 
almost arm arm barring Evloyev, almost breaking his leg. Um, I guess I, that's like a great grappler for one, and then rocking. He even you know got Evloyev off off balance a couple times with his punches, and then uh, again two finish wins after that in short short time. So yeah, and Evloyev, um, he's not finishing anybody. So right. <laughs> All right. Uh, next prop bet: Jalen Turner by finish. Um, Moicano wants money. Now he he won't be able to cut down the range to uh, get his uh, takedowns. I don't think. And if he does, uh, I think Jalen Turner can survive until an end of a round, where then they'll be back on the feet. Moicano will be a little bit more tired, and it'll start to be the the picking apart Moicano game. Um, and yeah, this Turner's range management, uh, Dober would just walk right into Moicano where Moicano would just grab him and trip him right down. And I feel like Turner won't give up that range at any cost. And uh, not enough head movement, not enough any- anything for Moicano, I think, to survive on the feet for three rounds here. So Jalen Turner, I finish. Yeah, uh, Jalen Turner, all of his wins are by finish too. So uh, I see that continuing here. I uh, see him putting uh, Moicano out. He's been KO'd three times. Uh, nearly got finished by Dober in his last one as well, too. Um, if Dober wasn't, uh, you know, kind of stupid. Lat drop? Yeah, I feel like uh, he would have been able to finish him. But uh, yeah, I, I, I like I like this bet a lot. I also feel like it's going to be hard for uh, Moicano just to lay on Turner the same way he could with Dober because Moicano was very large and just... A little bit taller, he was able to spread that weight over top of Moicano very or uh, Dober very easily. I feel like Turner, he had to grab onto Turner's hips because Turner can get to the fence very easily. But I think the under one and a half is also very playable in this fight. So if that's an angle you like, I think that's a that's a good one as, as well. So yeah, or two and a half if you want a parlay piece there. Yep. Um, I see Turner probably under one and a half, and if it goes a little longer, then I feel like Moicano would have the edge there. Sure. Um, final bet. Uh, we're doing Bo Nickel, Cody Brunage under one and a half rounds. I mean, Cody Brunage is just not good. And Bo Nickel is came out here and he's just trying to finish the fight as fast as possible. He's on a, the biggest card ever. So he's going to come out, try to do whatever he can to finish this fight. I think in the first round and, uh, yeah, you're paying a pay-per-view price for, I think, a fight that'll last a minute. Um, I, I'm going to say it gets d- done by submission, but uh, it could easily be a KO. I mean, what do you think there? Yeah, Bo Nickel's never seen the second round, and Brundage, we all know him. He's got about three minutes of gas. So, um, yeah, I really don't see this uh, going over one and a half at all. Uh, yeah, I see it ending in round one. And you could see, I mean, fucking Brunage might quit on the stool if it goes to a round two, so. Um, yeah, maybe Brunage has lightning in a bottle and his favorite. And, gets another DQ win. Get, yeah, that too. There you go. He could fake an injury. I think the Athletic Commission would never let that happen. They'd be like, we'll never let <laughs> Bo Nickel get a zero or erase his zero off his record, so. Right. Um. Then, yeah, Zane Wei Li with it. With it. I mean, Wei Li is just going to be steps ahead. In my opinion, more powerful, damaging striker, uh, better grappler, better mixed martial artist in all senses. That's just that's just plain and simple. Yeah, and I feel like Whaley is probably one of the only money line um, parlay pieces that you could actually uh, trust trust this week. Right. Um, I mean, like there's Figueredo minus three hundred, but um, Garbrandt super powerful. You never know there. Um, Kayla Harrison, you know, making her UFC debut. Yeah, do not bet on that. Don't know what that looks like. And then Armin's minus 200, but uh, everyone knows how dangerous uh, Charles Oliveira is, too. So. Right. Um, yeah, I feel like this is uh, pretty much the only money line um, that you can be very confident in. Yeah, I mean, you guys probably see these bets. You're probably like, well, what are you, what about Charles Oliveira? What about Alex Pereira? Like these, like betting on these types of fights. My thing is I don't want to be in the headspace of, Oh, I want my money when there's like a historic fight going down as well. Like 
there is an angle on the Oliveira fight. I think it is the under one and a half, but I also don't want to be counting the time when this fight's going on. I'd rather just pay attention to it as a fan. Uh, same deal with the main event. Also, uh, it's hard to bet against Alex Pereira. We picked Jamal Hill, but man, I don't know if I can bet against the maybe the best striker in the world. So hard to make a bet there. Um, hard to make a bet on the Cater fight. There's a lot of hard angles. So yeah, anything I mean, else you, you your eye a on? Case, yeah, I mean, you can make a case for, for pretty much anybody winning a fight here on this card. Yeah, Cody Brunage, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, except for that one. That's for, that's the only one. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could. But, but yeah, um, these are the bets. Yeah, was... Of course, guys, we will come out with another video later. Uh, but it's a week off after this, so yeah, enjoy these bets. Hopefully, we get a clean little sweep uh, on the biggest card. So, yep. Yeah, no card next week, week off, and hopefully we'll get that video out uh, um, a little early for... For the following week's card right all right all right that guys thanks for watching peace peace